North-South split in the weather through this bank holiday weekend. The driest, warmest and brightest weather to be found in the south. Already high pressures dominating the weather here. And if anything, this area of high pressure is going to push northwards and build over the next 24 hours. However, these weather fronts in the north will bring cloud and outbreaks of rain through tomorrow. Then we look out to the west at the next cold weather front. That's going to push south and east through Sunday to bring some rain as far south as northern England and north Wales by the end of the day. That then moves away, but by then we've got another weather system in the north to bring yet more cloud and a little rain. There's quite a lot of cloud around across the country at the moment, but most of us have seen a little brightness or sunshine through the morning. However, in places that cloud is thick enough to be bringing one or two drops of rain. And throughout the afternoon, there's a risk of a light shower pretty much anywhere. But I think much of England and Wales will stay dry with a little bit of brightness or sunshine, and most of the showers will be in the far northwest. And here, temperatures will reach just 17 or 18 degrees. Elsewhere, we should see temperatures peaking at 21. Overnight, many places will be dry with clear spells, perhaps a little bit of dawn mist. But in the far northwest, we're going to see more cloud and rain move in. Temperatures no lower than between 8 and 10 degrees. So for many of us, it'll be a dry and fine start of the day tomorrow. But in the far north, it will be cloudier and there'll be a little rain at times. But even here through the afternoon, I think we will see some drier spells, perhaps even the odd glimmer of brightness too. Whilst elsewhere, it stays dry with spells of sunshine and temperatures as high as 22 or 20. 23 degrees. Then on Sunday, that cloud and rain is going to sink its way southwards. It could be heavy in the west and north, getting as far south as northern England and north Wales by the end of the day. Now the south should stay dry, but there is just a small risk of one or two showers to 